education was one of the tools used to remove the language from the indigenous people. It can also be used as a tool to return the language to the people. When I wake up in the morning, like I'm, I'm a ganyoke haga, like I'm a haga person. <laughs> and when I go to sleep at night, I'm the same thing. I literally, this is who I am, and so uh, I want to hear the language every minute of the day, and sometimes it's not, you know, it's not so easy. And uh, if we can just, even if it's just a minute, or if we can expose people to a little bit of the language uh, at a time, just so they can familiarize themselves with it, just showing us in a different light, I guess you can say, like, we're from Tainanagamok territory, and when you drive through Tainanagamok territory, you see, like, smoke shops and gas stations and that kind of thing, but there's a culture there, there's a richness there, there's just so many amazing people there with stories and history. The Mohawk minutes, some of it is uh, done so that there's a, mo a Mohawk word, uh, English word, so that it doesn't become overwhelming. Mohawk is a polysynthetic language, so the words are very big, and if you just rambled off a whole bunch of Mohawk, and it, it can be overwhelming for somebody who doesn't know the language. <laughs> this is Ganu Sawana. And Dayo Serunje. And this is the Mohawk Minute on 91X. Ganjokwa. All of you. So what the Hosio Scott Nigari Wessa. Listen for a short time. This is Ganusawana with a smoke dance. I think that hearing it does something different. You know, people hold memory in their in their bodies and their cells, and so when when uh, indigenous people hear the language, it triggers something for them, right? Like, and their body can remember intergenerationally, and I think that's an important piece. There isn't enough that we can do to help revitalization of our language. Like, we we just need to be. Uh, using it every day, we need to be immersing ourselves within the language. We need to say, "Heck no, I'm not going to speak English today. All I'm going to speak is Mohawk, and I don't care, and nobody can understand me. I just want to speak my language." Listen every week at this time for a Mohawk minute, showcasing Mohawk language lessons, dialogues, and songs. Right here on Alternative Radio 91X.